quick update here to the uh, the blaster, the sandblaster cabinet modification. Um, the the legs bent here. Uh, a couple people were concerned about you know this big hole weakening the leg and stuff like that. Well, when I tried to put it in the shed outside and go up a, a the lip into the onto the floor there, uh, I had to get some speed and hammer it in there. Well, it bent both the legs under this one especially quite a bit. So I've pushed it back, bent it back out, and I just got some. Uh, this is leftover. It's the same kind of pieces of metal that are in the uh, the top piece. They're leftovers from those uh, 10 by 20 carports. A little piece of rectangular tube. So anyway, it's it's jammed in there. It's jammed in tight, and I put a screw in there just to keep it from falling out, basically. Uh, but it's tight. And then I uh, I also put uh, pulled these back out. The slots just really didn't work very well. Once it starts bouncing a little bit, uh, they come out of the thing, and I had the handles pull, you know, move on me a few times, stuff like that. So uh, I could just take the bolt out of the end here and still take the whole thing out uh, without having to grind or cut these back off. Uh, so it's not a problem there. So now I have a nice positive stop. I pull the handle out, bang, it stops. and uh, So so it should work pretty good now. Um, I'll post this probably as a reply to my own uh, upload. So then that way it's in the same area kind of thing. So anybody looking at that one will see this.